Hey everyone, so in this week's video I'm going to show you how to clip rat's nails. To be honest, I normally don't clip my rat's nails, I kind of just deal with them being sharp, but I did notice that a few of my rats were having extra sharp nails, so I would figure I would go ahead and trim them and then show you guys the process. It can definitely be a pain and 9 times out of 10 your rat is not going to sit still for this. So I'm going to show you how to do it when you're by yourself and then how to do it when you have someone that's there to help you because that is definitely easier than doing it by yourself. There are two types of clips that I suggest using. The clippers that I recommend the most are human cuticle clippers. These are really good at getting at the rat's really tiny nails. But you do want to make sure that they are sharp since the rat's nails are kind of paper thin and if they're not sharp then they won't do the trick. And then the next ones are just regular human nail clippers, but these are the small version. So if you're by yourself, then ideally you want the rat's back to be laying up against your stomach or your side. And depending on how calm your rat is, this may or may not work for you. But basically you just kind of want to hold them like I'm holding Zara here and then just go ahead and clip away. However, if you do have a really squirmy rat, then this might not work. As I mentioned before, rats have really teeny tiny nails. They're pretty thin and I think that's why they feel so sharp sometimes. However, to our advantage, rats normally have clear nails. I've never seen a rat with dark colored nails. So it's pretty easy to make sure that you're not going to cut the quick by mistake. However, if you do, you can go ahead and put some cornstarch or flour even or some quick stop on it. Um, rat's nails don't usually bleed as much as other pets do when you accidentally cut the quick. If you have someone that can help you cut the rat's nails, then that's definitely suggested. It's going to be a lot easier, especially if you have a squirmy rat. Just have them hold the rat with the rat's back up against their chest or their stomach. So it's going to be a lot easier for you to grab on to the foot like I'm doing here and it'll be a lot easier to kind of lean in and make sure that you are cutting everything at the right length. When it comes to the front feet, I usually just wait until the rat kind of has their paws perched on top of your hand like they're trying to get away. Um, so just make sure your partner or you are holding on tight and then you can kind of use your hand as a guide to kind of clip those top nails. Keep in mind that you may hear some squeaks in protest. Um, none of these guys actually squeaked in protest, but the last group of rats, Mishka, used to squeak all the time. Even if you did not go anywhere near her quick, she would still squeak every time you clipped her nails like she was dying. So don't be surprised if that happens and also be prepared for them to wriggle and wriggle and not want this to happen. Just go ahead and firmly hold on to them and then usually after a while they will start to calm down. As I mentioned before, this isn't something that I do on a regular basis. However, there are some other things that you can get and use to prevent you from having to clip your rat's nails if it's really a bother for you. I really like using lava ledges. You can get them online or at some pet stores. They come in a bunch of different colors and they just attach to the side of the cage. Some rats also like chewing on them and some rats don't, but it acts as a great file when they're jumping up on top of the ledge. And since rats have such fine nails, um, you know, just one time of them jumping up on the ledge can usually help with filing them down. You can also add a river rock or a brick or a stone to be placed underneath their water bottle and then you can just lift the water bottle up a little bit so that the rat has to kind of perch up a little bit on top of the stone to get a drink of water. And while they are perching up to get a drink, the stone will also act as a file to shorten the nails. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you guys, and if you have any questions, go ahead and comment below, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.